I'm Ryan Florence, and I want to talk to you about managing scroll positions in Remix and React Router apps. So the browser, by default, when you navigate around, is going to reset the scroll position up to the top. Um, if you're building an app UI, sometimes that can get in the way and actually feel kind of clunky. A lot of apps do this. So right now, I've got a, I've got a screen like this, and then I click on Members, and it switches out this outlet right there. I click on Activity, and then it scroll resets back up the top. It feels terrible. This is the default browser behavior, but we can make a better experience because we got JavaScript. So over here is my uh, groups route. That's the layout that's rendering the members and the activity, which is our index route. And here are the nav links as we're mapping over those tabs. So to prevent that scroll reset from happening when the user clicks, we can say prevent scroll reset. Save our file, come back, and let's scroll down a little. Check it out. No more jank. We hate jank. Remix and React Router have another tool to help you manage scroll positions for more app-like experiences. At the moment, every single one of these entries in my history stack has its own unique position that it restores to, even though we're toggling between members activity, members activity. They're the same page, they're the same URL but we will have four different scroll positions here that are all preserved by the browser. And this is default browser behavior, once again, emulated by React Router. So if I click back, you're gonna see I'm on the members page and it's at this scroll position. Now I'm on activity. I'm gonna click back one more time. I'll be back at members, but notice it's higher than last time. So it kind of creates this like jumpiness in the app when you're clicking back and forth or clicking other links to a page. Sometimes if someone ends up on the members page, you want to put them right back where they were last time. You don't care if it's a specific entry in the history stack. You're saying, look, it's the members page or it's the activity page. If they click back to this activity page from anywhere or click a link to this activity page from anywhere, I want to put them back where they were uh, last time they're looking at it. Very useful. So we can use scroll restoration get key. So this is a function and it'll give you the location that the user is at. And the default behavior is location key. That's unique for every entry that got pushed, regardless of which page we're looking at. Instead, we could say something like location path name. Say, I, I want to save the scroll positions by that URL. So I'm going to save this. And we actually got to quit Chrome uh, to get rid of some session storage in there. And we're going to click back and forth between these two things. And now I'm going to scroll down on activity. Then I'm going to go back to members, and I'm going to scroll all the way down on members. And now, look, I click back again, and I'm where I was for activity before. If I click back again to members, here's my scroll position. If I click forward to to members, notice it's in the very same spot as last time. Even though that it's a different members history entry, we get this very same position. So even though I'm toggling between these two pages, they keep going to the same spots. So let's reverse this, just to like really drive it home. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom on the feed, and then let's scroll all the way to the top on members. So I've got a whole bunch of entries in here. Let's go all the way back to groups. And so I'm at the very bottom over here for uh, activity. I'm at the top for members, forward again, bottom, forward again, top, forward again, bottom. I think you get it. <laughs> so these are two ways uh, to help you create more app-like experiences and, and control the scroll position with just a couple of really simple props and functions. So hope you enjoy it.